everyone. This is a great morning that God has given us, a new morning. Thank you for joining us for the morning devotion. We thank our Lord for this great morning that he's blessed us with. Indeed, it has taken his mighty hand for him to give us this day. Let us pray. We worship you, our Heavenly Father, for this morning that you've given us. We ask that even as we continue with this morning devotion, dear Father, that you speak to your people, that they will be renewed in this morning. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father. We pray this, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Again, today is Wednesday. It's our prayer day. Welcome to our sessions, prayer sessions in the morning at 1 p.m. and in the evening. Let us continue praying as the Christian family. Uh, this week, we are looking at uh, <clears throat> Christian parenting and looking at um, the mentorship aspect of Christian parenting. Uh, <clears throat> perhaps the question that we should be we are asking ourselves today, this morning, is that is there a place for mentorship in Christian parenting? And of course, the answer is yes. We as parents, we are stewards of God's people. We are stewards of God's children. The children that we have, the people that are put under us and our watch, we are stewards of our God's children. We are stewards of them. And uh, we have to keep thinking and asking ourselves, what is the will of God in these children? What is the will of God in the people that God has kept under us as parents? And uh, in this day and age, we find ourselves in an extremely difficult situation of parenting. There are many issues that are going on with the, uh, as parents and even as children. There are men, they, we live in a world where there is a lot of confusion in terms of teachings and in terms of uh, the way people should move forward as parents and as children and as families. And at this point in time, I would say that uh, for our children specifically, mentorship is very important. And this crisis, these problems uh, have not just begun. We look at, when we look at the book of uh, Ruth, we look at uh, a family that was in crisis. You remember well the story of Naomi and Ruth? Yeah, they had gone through a very difficult period of loss, whereby Naomi had lost his husband, his husband has died, Elimelech, and his two, uh, do and uh, the daughters, his two sons had also died, Kilion and Malon. And this left Naomi at a very difficult situation whereby the daughters-in-law, that is uh, now Ruth and Orpha, were looking upon her for direction. And you'll agree with me that Naomi found herself in a very difficult situation whereby she felt abandoned by God. And for quite a long time, in, when you read chapter 1, she kept on complaining that uh, the Lord had, dis had deserted her in fact, she got to a point when she was saying that, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara, because of the pain that God has inflicted in, in her life. And you'll agree with me, even in our own circumstances, sometimes even as parents, we find ourselves in very difficult situations. And uh, at times, we look at ourselves, and at times we may feel like we are unworthy to give guidance, unworthy to be mentors of our children. At times, uh, uh, we find ourselves in a lot of confusion. The current, even the current economic times may make us feel like we are unworthy because we may not have the strength, even the financial muscle to do some things. And it might make us un feel unworthy of being mentors, feel unworthy of not having that value that we can pass on even to our children. But a turn, there was a turn of events in Naomi's life. She came to a point and realized that uh, she could not just dismiss Ruth and Orpha. Of course, Orpha agreed. But now uh, Ruth clung on to her. 
And she came to realize that uh, there's somebody that is looking upon her for direction and for guidance. And this is where things changed. Even us, we need to get to a point and realize that despite the issues that we could be going through as parents, as people whom have been put in position of influence, despite the issues that we could be going through, despite the, <clears throat> the, the shortcomings that we would be looking at and seeing us and that would make us feel unqualified, there are people who are looking at us and expect that we give guidance. Mentorship is about guidance, is about teaching, is about showing people direction. Despite the difficult situations that we may find ourselves in as parents, we still we have our children and we have people that are and us that are looking for directions from us. Perhaps it's time that we need to change and ask ourselves that what is it that God wants me to do? Despite the difficult issues that could be in, in, in your life as a parent, despite the shortcomings that you could be having as a parent, despite the discouragements that would be coming away as a parent, what is it that you can do to those people that are looking up to you? One thing that I like about Naomi is that uh, she was in, in a problem and a deep problem and a season of mourning. And so was Ruth. But Naomi overcame her own issues despite being in a position of mourning and in a position of asking so many questions and in a position of not knowing what to do. Despite that, she overcame her own issues and decided to focus on Ruth's concerns. So even us, my dear brothers and sisters, even as we bring up our children, even as we look at those people that we are parenting, we need to come to a situation and ask ourselves, how are my circumstances helpful to the people that are looking at me? Perhaps we need to ask God for guidance and ask God to help us to understand that the, our circumstances may not be the same circumstances as those people who are looking at us. Naomi overcame her own circumstances. She got to a point and decided that even though I'm in similar circumstances as Ruth, I'm going to set aside my period of feeling unworthy, my period of being, being uh, feeling like I have no value, and listen and sit back and listen to Ruth and see what I can do to change her life. My dear brothers and sisters, there are people who are looking at us. Those children that we, God has given us so that we can parent them, they are looking upon us for direction. They are looking at us and seeing how we are going to behave in certain circumstances. The circumstances could be difficult, but those people are looking at us and expecting that they will see some hope and direction in the way we behave, in the way we mentor them, in the way we guide them, in the midst of issues. We have our own issues of our parents, but let us not also forget that even the kids themselves have their own issues. Perhaps at times we need to sit back and ask ourselves, yes, for this particular issue, how can I help this child? For this particular issue, how can I help these other, other children? Because even children are not the same. Let us not even generalize the kind of approach, the kind of gu guidance that we have even upon our children. When you look at these two daughters-in-law, they were different. Naomi was, in her own reaction, was different. Uh, Ruth was different in her own uh, reaction as compared to Orpah. Even in our own situations, we need to really look at our children different and know that they are different. They could be different. In particular circumstances, in similar situations, they might not behave the same. And they expect our guidance, and it's in our role as parents to offer guidance. The good thing is that our Lord never leaves us, nor forsakes us. So if we cling on to him, just like Ruth clung on to Naomi, our God is able to give us guidance because all wisdom comes from him. Even in that 
uh, positional confusion that you could be in, our God still reigns supreme. Let us uh, keep ourselves connected to our, to our God, despite whatever circumstances we could be as parents. We have learned from Naomi that Naomi no, never let her circumstances drive her away. One thing is about uh, mentorship. It, uh, if, if it, it, is, it, uh, it requires that we, we listen. Let us listen to our kids. The other thing about mentorship, it requires that accountability. It is goal-oriented, first and foremost. Naomi decided to help Ruth achieve her own goals. Even in our, in our own circumstances as parents, let us listen and then have a goal-oriented mentorship for our kids in, the, in their own circumstances. The other thing about men mentorship is that it involves accountability. When you read chapter 2, you read uh, uh, verse 19, you see a place where Naomi is asking uh, Ruth questions. How, where did you glean today? How did it go? It requires that even as we go through the journey of mentorship, that we keep uh, being accountable. Ask the mentees and the mentors, let us ask those questions that would raise an accountability. And our God is able to help us of, uh, achieve this. Let us keep our, ourselves connected to God because he is the master mentor. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you.